PVP polls never pass, and we all know why that is. PVMers have never been able to experience the joy that comes with murdering an innocent player in the wilderness. So today on Make-A-Wish, we're going to be giving a PVMer the experience of a lifetime. For the first time ever, they can watch as a budget 10 pixel video game character drops to the floor as they stand over them saying vulgar things. We went to where the monster killing specialists love to hang out the Green Dragons, to show them there's more to this game than just killing the same monster over and over again. But for some unknown reason, none of these players were replying to us. They were just running and teleporting as soon as they saw me. So instead, we're going to the hub of inefficiency, the place where Torvestor's ult spends all of its time, the Grand Exchange. And within seconds of posting my job advert, a player that I think we can all agree has likely never even stepped into the wilderness volunteered for the challenge. Now the gear that he's in might work well when it comes to slaying the Mithril Rocks, but it will be no match for the players that we're going to come across roaming the wilderness. So I'm investing a lot of money into giving this player his experience. Now to any PVMers that are watching this video, this is what best in slot gear looks like. So with my new best friend, we're going to go find some people that deserve to die in the wilderness. Let this be a lesson to you. If I approach you and ask if you want to come with me, you better say yes. So showing this guy my high level mechanics, I cast a full teleblock on this unsuspecting target. And then I tag my friend onto this fight. And so his first ever player versus player fight begins. We definitely have the advantage when it comes to the combat triangle. Everyone knows that Mage beats Melee. And acting like a true PvPer, we're getting him to say some disgusting, horrible things to this guy. Even with an amateur at the helm of this fight, this shows you that RuneScape truly could be a high level esport. Whilst watching this, I have no idea who's going to win. Big hits are coming from both of these contenders. It's important not to lose focus on the main goal of this social experiment. We want players to vote yes to PvP polls, so we asked this guy, is he having fun? Heck yeah, he's having fun. And with a massive 4KO, the fight is over. Wow, the whole time I was on the edge of my seat. So now it's time for the post-match interview. We have to understand his mindset before he came into this. And so before this trip, he was voting no to PvP polls. But after the small sacrifice of a green dragon killer, we have now changed his mind. As every good serial killer says, once you start killing, you just can't stop. So it's time for round two. And displaying our teamwork again, I get the teleblock and then switch the main damage dealer onto him to finish him off. But this time with no prompt at all, he's already telling him to sit. And what was only meant to be a single kill has turned into the most impressive double kill of the century. To round up the trip, I want to see the total loot that he's got from this. Making more money than he would get from power mining granite all the way to 99 mining, we've not only shown him how to have fun, we've also shown him a top money maker. The awesome guy even tried giving me all of the loot, clearly showing that he now understands where the phrase share IT bead came from. And we have a final gift for him so he can continue his PKing dreams.